sailing just dropped. So a lot of people are mad. Big controversy about sailing. So I'm evidently not fully informed on this. So I want to look into this deeper. So we're going to get educated here by watching some of this. It's the official sailing breakdown. And then we're going to go and see what people are saying about it. Because it just passed for like barely like 70% or 71 or something like that. Yeah, well, let's go in. Over the past six months, our community and development team have collaborated to put together the sailing skill. And soon it'll be time to decide, should sailing come to old school RuneScape? Greetings, adventure, and welcome to the ultimate summary blog for the sailing I want to pause already. By the way, if anybody's in here, let me know if the volumes are good. But I want to pause already when I say straight up. They said, what, this was seven days ago? They said it's time to vote to let us know is sailing going to be in the game. So they made a whole video about it to let people know. There's a lot of people saying we don't want to have that in the game. And they just kind of threw it in there. Like they give you a whole video breaking it down. Yo, what's up, Team Fanatic? Skill. I'm your host, Gnome. And today we'll be painting the grand picture of what sailing looks like. Previously, we covered all four parts of the sailing developer blog in video, infographic, and text forms. So this video is merely a brief summary of all the work done before. If you're looking for more depth, please check out the links in the description. Yeah, but we Without might have to watch the in-depth videos again. here in a minute. After this one, sailing we'll watch the full in-depth. About mastering your talents with the wind and sail to experience the many unexplored aspects of Gilinor. Sailing is utility skill, about mastering your talents with the wind and sail, to experience the many unexplored aspects of Gilinor. It's built to adhere to the old-school definition of skill, while providing unique, fresh content. Be as relaxing to approach as any current skill, but present variety, complexity, and challenge for those looking for more. Yeah, right there. So there's, there's something for everybody right here off the rip. They're saying it's a boring skill or it's going gonna, it's gonna to break the game or something. They just said they have skiller stuff that if you want to chill, skill and chill, or they have some PVM stuff and they've announced PVP as well. So if you're if you're upset about one aspect of the skill, one of the other aspects should should satiate you. I think that's the word. I think that is integrate naturally into the current world while offering new areas to explore. Present a reward system that utilizes old and new resources that feed back and provide value to your other skills. Good. Okay, bet. And take advantage of being a skill on its own by offering a deeply engaging and enjoyable progression scheme. Wait, right here. They got some of the actual... So this is miscellaneous salvaging hook, trawling net. So you could probably do fishing with it. That's sick. Salvaging, that's probably for finding wreckage and certain stuff. A light. There's probably an area that has fog that you have to have the fog light to access. So that's another thing. Um, coral cutter. Probably harvesting stuff. Farming right there. Harpoon launcher. Probably catching some like... I know they said there was going to be like some wildlife in there. So hunting stuff. That's cool. And then diving station. They're going to have the same mechanics they had for the diving in... Uh, oh, what is that quest? I can't even remember. And then you can... Yeah, I can't even remember off top, but yeah, they did that before. They're probably going to have that same mechanics. That's so cool. Work? I think that's sick. As described in the navigation blog, you can acquire a boat however you choose. Whether a boat? purchasing, building, stealing, or completing the introductory Steal a quest boat? made in Voyage. Let me drive a boat. sailing, you exist in the same, non-instance world as all other players. Just on the water instead of land. There's going to be so much trolling. People pull up on a boat right beside everybody fishing at like Catherby or something and like sup noobs they get good. They pull up on like a, uh, oh, well, you need certain size boats to go to certain places, but right there, right there with the, Stealing, the toxicity in the community right here. Completing the introductory quest made in Voyage. Right here. Right, look. While sailing. You just sailing in front of these noobs training like this guy in full rune and this guy over here. They're just going to be like. Y'all suck, and then it'll just shoot your sand crabs with their cannons or something. So much trolling, especially at release, because everybody is so mad about this. Just in the yeah, same, it's gonna be great. This world as all other players, just on the water instead of land. Ships are unique entities that move by regular point-and-click mechanisms that with a speed sick. and turning radius dependent on the wind and size of the ship. Boats can be either small, which are suited for shallows, large for open waters, or colossal vessels for deep waters. 
The old school team's done some incredible technical work to ensure that being on and using your ship feels natural and fluid. You'll be able to walk about on your vessel while it's moving, and even bring along other players and NPC crewmates. You can also see and fully interact with other players, NPCs, and ships around you, whether it's to chat with others, blast monsters with cannons, or light a comfy campfire. Just do some other skills while you're going somewhere. You know how many people this is going to be a meta where you're doing sailing? Same thing as the agility rooftop courses. You're going to be doing sailing, but also doing another skill on there. And you know what's going to be OP is probably later in the skill, they might have access to like, I don't know, some stuff like const like construction and player own house. You'd have uh, fairy rings maybe or teleports or stuff like that, or maybe even like a way to bank or at least a deposit box. So you could just endlessly get resources once you added that to it. I don't know, just speculation, honestly. In the gameplay blog, we walk through all the activities under the umbrella of sailing, each of them serving a different audience. Ooh, about so that to level player, up. player, whether a beginner or expert, either AFK or smashing their keyboard, will find some aspect of the skill to enjoy. At its heart, sailing is about using your ship's facilities. Following the pattern of other skills, sailing's basic core action is simply left clicking to trim your sails whenever the wind changes. But that's merely the beginning. Like other skills, there's so much more to do than just mine rock, chop tree, or attack goblin. The old school team categorizes these other activities- Mine rock, chop tree, fish fish, fish fish, yes. Anyways, well real quick so segue, I think it's important to note that they are efficiently trying to design this skill to be just like all the other skills in terms of experience and also catering to every type of player so that if you're mad about something about the skill, again, there's probably something else you can do. So they just talked about that. I wanted to reiterate that point. Activities into primary, secondary, and tertiary gameplay. Primary gameplay includes activities that are one step away from the core activity, involving just sailing alone and no other skills. Okay. They will all be available on the skills so we got racing, we got probably some kind of PvP. This is probably, this looks like some sort of navigating. Well, this looks like a navigating, like a book or something. This is definitely salvaging. They had the hook to reach down, so that's it. These are sick. Release, including imagine boat races. To explore and document various points of interest. Ship Have to be like tick efficiently to racing people. The sea floor. Port tasks. Or performing courier oh they're about to tell us i wasn't even paying attention hold including up including charting the sea to explore charting and okay various points of interest shipwreck salvaging to recover treasure for the called sea floor. port tasks or performing courier protective and investigative errands for a port master okay i was way off with that one but that's honestly a cooler that's a cooler one than me because they basically did that with the first one Barracuda trials, or intense, high-speed tests of your navigational skills designed by the thrill-seeking Barracudas, and naval combat, which involves using the weapon facilities on your ship, like cannons and ballistae, to battle pirates, monsters, and deadly sea legends. The Leviathans? You just ha There's another instance of Leviathan where you just have to fight it on your ship. You just easily camp it. But straight up, the PvP aspect of this is going to go crazy. It's going to be like RuneScape meets Sea of Thieves. Mad toxic. So toxic. There's going to be so much pirate RP. Secondary activities are those which mix sailing with other skills, like how drift net fishing blends fishing with Hunter. These will mm. be pulled individually from the larger skill, with only a couple of them likely making it for launch day. They include sea monster hunting, which combines sailing, slayer, and Hunter to track down elusive sea monsters. That's it. That's going to pass 100%. That right there is exactly what we need because I'm going to be honest with you. Sailing, Slayer, and Hunter. The, some of the hardest and most time consuming like to train. To be honest, I, I hate Hunter. It's my personal opinion, controversial opinion. But like anything other than birdhouse runs, awful. And I can't even bring myself to do more than like two or three a day. So yeah, give me some Slayer XP for fighting some bosses. Slayer XP and Hunter, all while I'm getting sailing, triple that. I just level? No. Somebody else. To track down elusive sea monsters. Oh, so. That's crazy. Coral farming, mixing farming and sailing to cultivate rare corals. Deep sea trawling, That's fire too. which integrates sailing with fishing to catch exotic fishes. 
and mineral dredging, blending and mining to recover precious minerals from the sea floor. That's dope. That's dope. As you can see, I have a slight bias about why I like that, but this is cool. Integrate it with all other skills. Fire. Finally, tertiary Fire. includes Fire. activities where sailing is only a small part of a much greater whole. As these projects are quite large, as a much as greater a whole, of thumb, they won't be present on Boss. release, but are here to showcase the possible future of sailing if players are interested. Like ship PvP, where you sick. and potentially some friends battle against other players in a designated PvP zone. Oh, so sick. Treasure hunting, a new ocean-based clue scroll system separate from our current one. What? That's Minecraft. They stole that treasure maps straight up, just yoinked it right from Minecraft. They're like, wow, this is such a cool idea. Now it's our idea. Aquariums. Anyways. A place to present your new exotic coral and catches. That's cool. An ocean raid, where you and your team battle ocean against raid. Of aquatic challenges. Oh my god, and that's fire. Where you explore and tackle instanced, procedurally generated islands and seas. Y'all hear that? Instance procedurally generated. You can tell too. You can tell it's it's procedurally generated because you can see there's like slight inconsistencies. Wow, that's actually really cool. They've never done anything like this as far as I can think of. This will give us so much more like so much more choices when it comes to things like LMS maps, for example. Ah, oh, level 70 fishing. Let's go. I think that was just for the quest game. So, yeah, I'm out of here. But yeah, this is going to be amazing. Procedurally generated. You can tell this is early stages, but such a cool thing. Now that you know what it's like to train sailing, let's turn to the rewards blog, which details what you get from engaging with the skill. The part best part. reward focus will be on enhancing your boat through ship upgrades and facilities. Upgrades include Drink water. improvements to the ship's hull to increase its health and durability, to the sails to luff less often and increase your speed, and to the rudder for narrowing your turning angle. They said your sails lock and to make your sails better to lock less often. That's going to be mad annoying. That's like anti, uh, anti AFK spam. That's what that is. It's a random event. Facilities are the tools of sailing, similar to nets, rods. Oh, pro tip. If you off tick bank the other herb box, you can bank them twice as fast. But you didn't know that. They don't tell you that on YouTube. Rods and harpoons for fishing, and can be built on your ship with the right skills, like furniture in a player owned house. Larger ships are able to hold more of them and can therefore be customized to tackle a wider array of environmental construction. activities. Boat construction. Facilities are divided into three types. Skilling facilities, like a salvaging crane for shipwrecks, a harpoon for sea monster hunts, and a weighted net for mineral dredging. So you probably can only have one at a time on your boat. So you specialize maybe your small boat for one thing, your medium boat for something else. Maybe. Again, I'm speculating. Also... So far, this all seems sick. I don't, I don't see what the big problem is. I don't see what everybody's so mad about. Like, there's so much water in RuneScape. Why, do, why keep adding more places? Why not utilize the water that's already there to do something with it? Like, we already had, you can cut down a tree and sail. You can charter a ship and you can do all that. Why wouldn't you want to allow the players to do it themselves? It's a no-brainer to me. Like, it's a no-brainer, and I don't see why everybody's upset. Utility facilities it's two RS3! It's not. Hold for it's an, extra RS3 has a lantern for doesn't have this. Ability in fog or handling special sea creatures. And combat facilities, like rams, ballistae, and cannons. That's Further fire. customization can be found with ship cosmetics for those fashion scapers out there. The sail, for example, could be modified to fly your plan's colors, or to show off your greatest achievements. That's so sick. So look, if I'm out here and I do the Inferno or something, I can have the Inferno sail. Come on. Come on. Fashionscape for the win. While the skill will help sink plenty of current resources through building and improving your vessel, it will also feature a host of new resources, like larch, cedar, and rosewood for your hull, mast, and facilities, hemp and cotton for the sails, lead and cobalt for cannons and dredge nets, agate, garnet, and aquamarine for new jewelry. Okay. Attic, blue tang, and sunfish as food. Dory! Dory! Let's go! Dory! Yeah! And that's a Pokemon. Pokemon. Alright, anyway. 
an Elkhorn, Pillar, and Noble Coral for potions, armor, and ammunition. Mm. These resources can be found both through sailing activities and by using your gathering skills on points of interest you've discovered, which includes any feature accessible by sea, whether it's a massive shipwreck, a deadly sea pass, or a new explorable island. One example island is the Great Conch, which you can access after Conch? helping with a special port task that involves rescuing a Tortuga named Flupa, one of the island's inhabitants. A Tortuga named Flupa. Okay, they maybe could have done a little better on the name, but that's, I guess, personal preference. You'll find some of the new resources there. A new Griffin Slayer monster. Sick. And the opportunity to learn a new fletching technique. From oh, did you see that? Resources there. Check this out. New Griffin Ninja Turtle Backpack. Let's go. What? What is this? Okay, so here's the quest right here. We're saving the we're saving the turtle people from the griffins. That's a new slayer monster. Go kill the griffins to save the turtle people. But I'm gonna RP as like Donatello, straight up. That's fire. Griffin slayer monster and the calling it right there. And then look, sla sailing in the back. Village. But this is just one example of what a new point of interest could look like. The team will continue to explore what new features and Squad. activities will be available Squad. He looks like Mr. Beast. And pull them individually to get your say. Finally, the, the Lord integration blog covers how- Alright, end the video. No one cares about that. No, I'm not- Oh, I really did end it. No way. Yo, 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 chill. Failing <laughs> OSRS. My bad. My bad. I, I full committed. No one cares about the lore. This is what I'm trying to say. No one cares. It covers how sailing will be adapted into the world of Gilinor, and how current systems can accommodate the new skill. Let's start oh, with the many cool. ports around the game world, which are the gateways between our current landmass and the new explorable oceans. Ports are where you set sail, store your boat, buy, build, or steal ships, upgrade and customize your vessel, trade goods with local vendors, pick up port tasks, and manage your crew. Speaking of your crew, if sailing a large or colossal vessel, you can recruit crewmates to help man your ship. Sick. They can be other players or a mix of new and pre-existing NPCs like Vanica, Elena, or Evil Dave. What? Based on your feedback, Iron Man will also be able to enjoy multiplayer sailing with some reasonable degree of restriction, like being unable to skip level or item requirements to access new areas and activities simply because your friend already has them. So like they can't basically, you can't squat up. So there's gonna be just groups of Iron Man who are just out here to destroy everyone's life just because they got a chip on their shoulder because they actually they can't go where everybody else is going just because they're Iron Man. It's like you impose a restriction on yourself. Don't blame me, but I know they're going to come kill me for that. Now, several I'll have to get PK'd on the high seas. Manner. So they'll all be given a bonus sailing XP lamp as a reward, but no extra sailing requirement. Mm. A few of them, like Bone Voyage and Cabin Fever, will also be adapted to use the new skill's mechanics. That's cool. And certain quest-locked areas, like Crandor Ape Atoll, will be given special treatment to ensure you can't land there before their respective quests are complete. Yeah, you Whether get murked by no Elvar. access the land by, or due to their local inhabitants gently shooing you away. Finally, while on the seas, you may chance upon a sea legend, creatures of myth like the Sharhai, the Dark Whoa. Dame, or Rokar the Thunderbird, who may be found during a sea monster hunt, quest, or just wandering the sea, preying upon unsuspecting victims. That's sick. Random encounters with insane, like, unique bosses? That's cool. That's fire. What do you mean? And what is bad about this skill? What is bad about this skill? I want you to tell me. Like, if you... If you think this skill is awesome, let me know. But if you think this skill sucks, I also want to know why. Like, I just have no reason to hate this skill. I don't know, other than it's just not the same as the game we used to know back in the day. But honestly, it's not been that way for many, many years. So it's like, what's, what's our argument here? Where do you draw the line? You had no problem with GE. You had no problem with, like, I don't know, Nex. And, and Vestas and, and all that and, and like Torva like for real this is not the game we remembered so let's just add the cool new shit brief summary of the sailing skill for more information please check out the four individual blogs the yeah next we, we will do that but not will today the team to produce a beta to ensure the project matches your vision of what this skill should be there's also plenty of details to work out in the meantime like the skill cape and icon Oh, sick. Well, not really that sick. 
Honestly, pretty mid as far as the cape goes right there. Pretty mid. It just looks like the fishing cape mixed with construction cape. I don't like it. Which secondary activities should come at launch? Fire. What each of the new islands will contain <clears throat> and how many there will be on release. But this is all dependent on you, the players. You, the bots. When the poll goes live, it'll be your vote that determines whether we should receive the sailing skill. And we voted and we got it. And that is the end of it. That is how democracy works. There was no rigging. If you're saying they changed it from 75% being the majority to 70%, they did that like a year ago and nobody said, nobody's mad. Nobody said anything about it. And to say they changed it so they could plan to just barely get the sailing one out. Like they have no reason. Like, like from the beginning, it's been a democracy. Like they've been, we've been voting for whether we want it to happen. And the majority voted. It's just like, that's just how things go. It wasn't rigged. It wasn't like nobody cheated. Jagex has nothing to gain. Right here, RizCape dropping better content in Diablo 4. These ideas sound amazing. Blah, blah, blah. Very obvious the OSRS team cares deeply about the game. The level of depth they're preparing, blah, blah, blah. This video has swayed my op opinion on sailing. The work done so far looks great. I bought a sailboat in real life to prep, to prep for the skill. Like, literally across the board. Thank you for, the, for your hard work and refinement. Like, every single comment here is people who are hype about it. So if you want to say, we don't want this, we, I speak for everyone. You know the tweet. I'm going to, I'll edit it or something in here right now. But you know the tweet where they're like, uh, uh, if I speak for everyone when I say, we don't want this. Like, look at what people are saying. This is where people could have the chance to talk all the stuff they want. Because this is the official old school RuneScape seven days ago. And across the board, people are like, this is dope. Does this mean we can finally get a new Sea Shanty track? Mm -hmm. Sea Shanty best song on RuneScape. So, true. But yeah, you heard it here. Sailing for the win. I'm going to be training it like the first day on release. It'll be sick.